Hi guys, today we're talking about the Doppler effect. In this problem, we've got a spaceship over here who is approaching a space station at a speed of 1.95 times 10 to the 5th meters per second. So it is approaching this at 1.95 meters times 10 to the 5th meters per second. Now it says the space station has a beacon of light that emits a green light with a frequency of 5.99 times 10 to the 14 thirds. So you've got this green light up here and it is emitting uh, light at a frequency of 10 to the 14 thirds. Alright, so a way to look at this, um, well the, the, the question is what is the frequency in hertz of the beacon observed by the spaceship? So a way to look at this problem is you've got the spaceship moving towards the light and you've got the light that is also uh, being directed out towards uh, the spaceship. Now uh, imagine a light as a wavelength. Okay, so you've got, you've got this wavelength that looks like this. Now when the source and uh, the observer are moving towards each other these wavelengths are going to condense okay and so the frequency is going to become higher just like if the space station or the spaceship right here was moving away uh, and then they were to look at this these wavelengths would actually increase which would mean the frequency would decrease. Okay, so what is the frequency of the beacon observed by the spaceship? Well, first off, what we need to do is determine what equation, and I already have it written up here. So you've got FO equals F of S times 1 plus or minus U divided by C. So F of O is going to be the frequency observed. Okay, so we know that uh, the frequency observed, that's what, that's what we're looking for, okay? F of S is the frequency emitted by the source. So that is going to be what this is. So F of S is going to be this 5.99 times 10 to the 14 hertz. U is going to be your relative speed of the observer and the source, which is going to be this 1.95 times 10 to the fifth. And then, of course, C is the speed of light. So we say F of O is going to equal F of S, which is we determine the frequency emitted by the source, and that's 5.99. So we say 5.99 times 10 to the 14th hertz times 1 plus or minus. Now, it's real easy if the observer is moving towards the source, or these two are coming together and they're getting closer, you're always going to use a positive sign. If the spaceship were going away, or the source were going away, then you would use a minus sign. Okay, so if they're going towards, so we use a plus. Plus U, which is the relative speed, which is just this 1.95. So we say 1.95 times 10 to the fifth meters per second divided by C which is the speed of light and for this we're using 2.9979 times 10 to the eighth um, because they want a more precise answer so 2.9979 times 10 to the eighth meters per second alright so let's uh, pop up open our calculator here so we've got 5.99 times 10 to the 14 put this in parentheses times 1 plus 1.95 times 10 to the fifth meters per second divided by 
speed of light 2.9979 to the eighth and that is going to give us 5.9939 times 10 to the 14th hertz yeah, so so for the answer for number one okay the answer for number one is 5.9939 times 10 to the 14th hertz. Right. For the second part, what is the change in frequency? Well, we know what the original frequency was, which was this 5.99 times 10 to the 14th. So all we're going to do is we're going to take this number and subtract the original frequency and that's going to give us our answer. Going back to the calculator, we've got uh, say answer minus 5.99 times 10 to the 14th and that is going to give us 3.8962 to the 11th. Okay. Yeah. So for part two, what is the change in frequency? The change in frequency is going to be uh, part B. We've got 3.89. 6.2 times 10 to the 14th, I'm sorry, 10 to the 11th, 10 to the, to, 10 to the uh, 11th hertz. Alright, and that is how you solve that kind of problem. Pretty simple.